and welcome to Ida Nert. When it comes to architectural grandeur and historical significance, Africa's presidential palaces are nothing short of breathtaking. These majestic buildings are more than just the official residences of the continent's leaders, they are symbols of national pride, blending modern design with deep cultural heritage. From their sweeping landscapes to their intricate designs, these palaces stand as stunning landmarks, showcasing the unique beauty and craftsmanship found across Africa. Each palace tells its own story, rooted in the history and identity of the nations they represent. Africa is home to some of the most stunning and opulent presidential palaces, reflecting not only the grandeur of their respective nations, but also the rich cultural and historical significance they embody. From modern architectural marvels to historic landmarks steeped in tradition, the presidential palaces of Africa offer a breathtaking glimpse into the elegance and prestige of leadership on the continent. In this video, I present to you the top 10 most beautiful African presidential palaces, each unique in its own right and deserving of admiration. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Let's hear you in the comment box below, where you are watching this video from. Now here are the top 10 most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa. Let's begin the countdown with number 10 on the list, which is the State House of Uganda. The State House of Uganda is an elegant symbol of political power and national pride. Located in Entebbe, a picturesque town along the shores of Lake Victoria, about 40 kilometers from Kampala, the capital city. Built in 2007, this stately palace boasts a striking blend of modern architecture with traditional Ugandan aesthetics. The building's white exterior, towering columns, and expansive balconies offer sweeping views of the surrounding lush greenery and the shimmering lake. The spacious gardens, adorned with vibrant tropical flora, enhance the palace's serene ambience, making it a perfect retreat for presidential affairs. Though Uganda has two state houses of which one is located in Nakasiro, Kampala while the other is in Entebbe, not stopping there, Uganda also has various state houses scattered all around the country. What sets the state house apart as one of Africa's most beautiful palaces is its refined elegance and prime location. Its simplicity, fused with grandiosity, reflects a balance between modernity and the natural beauty that surrounds it. This masterpiece serves as a venue for both state functions and foreign dignitary visits, further elevating its stature. Its construction symbolizes a new era in Uganda's political and architectural identity, and its scenic placement adds to the allure, marking it as a true gem among Africa's presidential residences. Next is the Presidential Palace, Dakar, Senegal. The Presidential Palace in Dakar, Senegal, is a stunning example of neoclassical architecture, standing as a testament to the country's colonial history. Originally built by the French in 1907, the palace features elegant white walls and majestic columns, exuding an aura of regality and sophistication. Surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens, including palm trees and fountains, the palace is located near the Atlantic Ocean, giving it a picturesque coastal backdrop. The grand halls and spacious rooms inside the palace reflect both the power and the heritage of Senegal's presidency. More than just a home for the president, the presidential palace in Dakar is a symbol of national unity and pride. It has hosted numerous high-profile events, both local and international, adding to its historical importance. The blend of French elegance and African tradition in its architecture and interior design makes this palace a cultural landmark in the heart of West Africa. This made it the ninth most beautiful presidential palace in Africa. Next on the list taking the eighth position is the Presidential Palace, Mauritania. The Presidential Palace in Mouakchott, Mauritania, stands proudly in the heart of the capital, serving as a symbol of power and authority since its construction in 1960. Located near key government buildings and the city's bustling avenues, this palace plays a pivotal role in Mauritania's political landscape. Its strategic placement offers a panoramic view of the surrounding cityscape, while remaining a sanctuary of peace and grandeur. The palace's impressive size, combined with its white facade, gives it a striking presence that immediately commands attention, making it a significant landmark in the region. What sets the presidential palace apart is its elegant yet simple architecture, reflective of the desert nation's minimalist aesthetic. Surrounded by lush green gardens that contrast beautifully with the arid surroundings, the palace is an oasis of beauty in Wakshat. Its refined design, blending traditional Mauritanian influences with modern elements, makes it one of the most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa. The grand entrance, clean lines, and expansive lawns all contribute to its understated charm, making it not only a center of governance, 
but also a representation of Mauritania's blend of culture and contemporary identity. Number 7 is Lavahola Palace, Madagascar. Yavahola Palace, located in the lush highlands of Antananarivo, Madagascar, stands as a striking example of architectural elegance and political importance. Completed in 2006, the palace sits nestled within verdant greenery, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. Its location atop a hill enhances its prominence, while its modern design reflects both the nation's ambitions and its deep connection to its cultural heritage. The palace is adorned with large windows, sweeping balconies, and a grand central dome that give it a regal yet contemporary appearance. What sets Yavahola Palace apart as one of Africa's most beautiful presidential residences is its harmonious blend of tradition and modernity. Its clean lines and modern architectural features are balanced by intricate decorative elements that draw from Madagascar's unique culture. The palace's gardens, meticulously maintained with indigenous flora, enhance its beauty, making it a peaceful yet grand symbol of Madagascar's future aspirations. As one of the youngest presidential palaces on the continent, Yavahola reflects the nation's evolving identity, while standing as a testament to Madagascar's historical legacy and natural beauty. Presidential Palace Sudan is the sixth on the list. Sudan's Presidential Palace, located in Khartoum, is a historic building that reflects the country's colonial past and its journey toward independence. The palace features a blend of British colonial and Islamic architectural styles with its grand facade, arched windows, and sprawling gardens. Situated along the banks of the Blue Nile, the palace offers stunning views of the river and the surrounding city, making it one of the most picturesque presidential residences in Africa. The presidential palace in Khartoum is not only a symbol of political power, but also a site of historical significance, having witnessed key moments in Sudan's history, including the country's independence. The beauty of its architecture, combined with its strategic location, and rich history ensures that it remains one of the most iconic presidential residences on the continent. Number 5 on the list is Jubilee House, Ghana. The Jubilee House, located in Accra, Ghana, is an architectural masterpiece that stands as a symbol of the country's progress and modernity. Built in 2008, this grand presidential palace was designed with a unique blend of contemporary architecture and traditional Ghanaian motifs. Its stunning white facade, coupled with sleek lines and geometric shapes, reflects a vision of strength and national pride. Surrounded by lush greenery and vast, well-manicured lawns, the Jubilee House exudes an air of serenity despite being situated in the bustling capital city. The palace's imposing structure and expansive grounds make it a standout landmark, capturing the eye of all who visit. What makes the Jubilee House one of the most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa is not just its design, but its cultural significance. The architecture is deeply rooted in Ghanaian symbolism, incorporating elements of the Ashanti stool, a powerful emblem of leadership and authority. Its strategic location in Accra, overlooking key parts of the city, enhances its prominence. The palace serves as the official residence and office of the President of Ghana, hosting important state functions and international dignitaries. The Jubilee House's blend of elegance, national symbolism, and its role as a beacon of modern governance truly make it one of Africa's most magnificent palaces. Fourth is the State House of Namibia. The State House of Namibia, located in the capital city of Windhoek, stands as one of Africa's most striking presidential residences. Built in 2002, this modern architectural masterpiece occupies a vast area along Robert Mugabe Avenue, blending seamlessly into the natural beauty of Namibia's rugged landscape. Designed by North Korean architects, the palace combines African aesthetics with sleek contemporary lines, featuring towering columns, expansive courtyards, and stunning water features. Its impressive facade, surrounded by well-manicured lawns and gardens, captures the harmony between nature and innovation, creating a serene and dignified atmosphere. One of the reasons the State House is considered among the most beautiful palaces in Africa is its thoughtful design that emphasizes both grandeur and functionality. The palace is not only a symbol of Namibia's sovereignty and progress but also a secure and sufficient complex equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. Its strategic location offers sweeping views of Windhoek, reinforcing its status as a landmark of national pride. The fusion of modern architecture, cultural significance, and natural surroundings makes the State House of Namibia an exceptional representation of African presidential palaces. Union Building South Africa is the third on the list. The Union Buildings, located in Pretoria, serve as the official seat of the South African government 
and the office of the president. This architectural masterpiece, designed by Sir Herbert Baker, is known for its grandiose size and stunning arcades that stretch over 285 meters. Nestled atop Main Giscop, the structure overlooks the capital city, offering panoramic views of the surrounding gardens, which are immaculately maintained and feature a mix of indigenous and exotic flora. With its red sandstone walls and its Italian Renaissance-style design, the Union buildings evoke both a sense of power and serenity, making it one of the most iconic landmarks in South Africa. Beyond its visual appeal, the Union buildings hold immense historical significance. It was here that Nelson Mandela was inaugurated as South Africa's first black president in 1994, marking the end of apartheid. The site also houses the Nelson Mandela statue, a symbol of peace and reconciliation. Visitors and tourists often flock to this site, not just to admire its beauty, but also to reflect on its role in shaping the nation's history. Now is the time to move to the second on the list, but before that, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Let us also hear you in the comment box below, where you are watching from. Now the second on the list is Unity Palace Cameroon. The Unity Palace, also known as the Palais de l'Unité, is located in the heart of Cameroon's capital, Yaoundé. Constructed in 1982, this presidential residence is a masterpiece of contemporary African architecture, blending modern elegance with traditional elements. Nestled atop a hill, the palace overlooks the vibrant city, offering sweeping views of Yaoundé's lush greenery and urban landscape. The palace's design is a reflection of Cameroon's diverse cultural heritage, with its sleek lines, and imposing structure standing as a symbol of national unity, harmony, and strength. What makes the Unity Palace one of the most beautiful palaces in Africa is not only its striking architecture, but also its surrounding environment. The meticulously landscaped gardens and extensive grounds enhance the grandeur of the palace, creating a serene and majestic atmosphere. The Unity Palace's rich aesthetic appeal lies in its balance between power and tranquility, making it a remarkable landmark that captures the eye and embodies the spirit of Cameroonian pride and leadership. Now the most beautiful palace in Africa is Abdeen Palace, Cairo, Egypt. Abdeen Palace, located in Cairo, is one of the most luxurious and historically significant palaces in Africa. Built in 1863, this palace was originally commissioned by Khadiva Ismail Pasha and now serves as one of the official residences of Egypt's president. The palace is renowned for its ornate interiors featuring lavishly decorated rooms, chandeliers, and historical artifacts. The palace also contains several museums that display royal memorabilia, weapons, and gifts received by Egypt's former rulers, making it a cultural and historical treasure. The architecture of Abdeen Palace is a fusion of various styles, including European neoclassical and Ottoman influences. Its expansive gardens and courtyards provide a tranquil escape amidst the bustling heart of Cairo, Abdeen Palace not only symbolizes the grandeur of Egypt's royal past, but also reflects its continuing importance as a center of power in modern Egyptian politics. The presidential palaces of Africa represent more than just the homes of the continent's leaders, they are architectural masterpieces, blending history, culture, and modernity. Each palace reflects the unique heritage and aspirations of its nation, standing as symbols of pride, power, and unity. From the Grand Union buildings in South Africa to the elegant Abdeen Palace in Egypt, these residences offer a glimpse into the opulence and beauty of leadership in Africa. Their magnificence inspires not only awe but also an appreciation of the rich diversity and splendor that the African continent has to offer. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.